So how did I get into this topic of timing? It was mostly out of frustration. Uh, I found myself making all kinds of timing decisions in my own life. And I was making these decisions in a very, very half-assed way. That frustrated me. And so I wanted to make these decisions in a smarter way. And so I looked around for guidance. And to my surprise, there wasn't much guidance out there on this topic. Uh, and that got me curious. And so I said, I wonder if there's any research on this question of timing. Um, and it turned out that there was a shitload of <laughs> research. If I take a couple of years and just go through this stuff, this massive amount of stuff, we can begin to piece together the evidence-based ways to make better, smarter decisions about when to do things. When we make our timing decisions, we make these decisions based on intuition, and that's the wrong way to do it. We should be making them based on evidence, because there's this rich body of evidence, facts, and data that help us make these decisions in a smarter way. When we think about units of time, think about a second. Human beings decided how long a second is. We could have said a second is this long, we could have said a second is that long. Okay, so we have some control over the duration of certain segments of time. But let's go to talk about a day, all right? A day is a real thing. And so the day ends up being this fundamental unit of time with some big implications, especially for professionals like you. So the hidden pattern of the day profoundly affects our mood and our performance. We've got the, the, the juror decision-making world. We've got the world of healthcare. We've got the world of corporate performance. All right, so let's, let's, let's distill what we know and talk about what to do about it. All right, so really distills into three key points. The first one is this. Our cognitive abilities don't remain static over the course of a day. Our brain power changes over the course of the day. That is a big deal. Second thing, these daily fluctuations are more extreme when than we realize. The difference between the daily high point and the daily low point can be significant. And finally, the best time to perform a task depends on the nature of the task. But what we know is that we should be doing our analytic work in the peak, our administrative work in the trough, or our insight work in the recovery. And here's the problem. We don't do that. We have to be much more deliberate and intentional in scheduling individual and team work. We're intentional about what we do. We're intentional often about how we do it. We're intentional about who we do it with. But when it comes to when we do stuff, we're not intentional. We think it doesn't matter. It matters. It can matter a lot.